Introducing the dangle bead with 550 pair cord. This is a starter kit so that you can weave your dangle bead however you like. And for this project, you're going to need a scissor and a lighter. To make your first knot, unravel your 550 paracord and find your center point. Keep about a one inch loop at the end. Take the left side, go over then under the right side, and then take the right side, go under the left side. then over the top loop into the side loop that you made with the left side of the paracord. Tighten the knot, but don't tighten it too tight while maintaining the one inch loop at the end. From here, you can weave as many knots as you'd like with the remaining rope that you have you just have to make sure that you have enough room to insert the bead. In this video, I'm going to make three knots before inserting the bead. So I'm going to repeat the process two more times. Snug up the knots, but don't tighten it too tight. Remember, take the left side Go over, then under the right side to make a side loop. Take the right side, go under the left side, over the top loop, into that side loop that you made with the left side of the paracord. Now that I've got my three knots, I'm going to snug it up and shape them so it looks neat. You'll notice a pattern. Now take the ends of the rope and insert it through the main hole of the bead. You might have to fidget with the rope and twist the bead around until the rope passes through the barrel. Slide the bead all the way up against the knots. At this point you can Continue as many knots as you'd like, but for this video, I'm going to make one last knot. Remember, left over right, and then under. Take the right side, go under the left side, over through the loop that you made with the left side. Tighten it up and shape it so it's nice and neat. Take the scissors and cut the remaining rope. We're gonna have to burn the ends, so leave a little bit of thread or rope for it to melt on itself. Take your lighter and burn the ends. Hold the flame up to the rope until you start to see the ends melting. Then take your scissor and press the knot up against the metal. Be careful not to burn yourself. And there you have it, a basic snake woven lanyard with a dangle bead. Remember, this is only one way of doing this, so take to the internet and find some other creative ways that you can make a beaded lanyard. Your finished lanyard should go well with most dangle products and everyday carry gear with a lanyard hole. 
Just take the end of the loop and insert it through the hole. Pull the loop tight and insert the other end of the lanyard through the loop. And then pull it tight again. And there it is. This is a great product that not only embellishes your everyday carry gear with style, it makes a great handle to help you draw your gear quicker and easier. The Dangle Beads.